Rumford Whitecap. Definitely not touching this to sign in, but there's a sign in and sign out thing. So I made it to this connector trail pretty fast. Um, I never went this way, but I think this is how you actually do the loops. I'm gonna go this way for a bit, and if it doesn't look right, I'll turn around. Silva and today like I said I'm at Rumford Whitecap in Rumford, Maine and I think it's like five and a half miles ish hike. I just took a trail. I was doing out and back but I'm trying to do a loop this time so I'm pretty excited about that. It's like a pretty beautiful Maine morning and we just got to see a waterfall and I'm looking forward to seeing the views from the top. All right here we go. Hey buddy. Oh no, that's not it. Yeah, that's porcupine. Okay. Like it's on the yellow trail. So Mother's Day was two days ago. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. A little late. Um, and one of the things Matt got me was um, bear spray. I like to, you know, go solo hiking, and there's been a lot of bear activity. Uh, I don't know about a lot, but we keep reading about bear activity in Maine. It's that time of year, and I know <laughs> Rumford Whitecap here has been known to have bears uh, <laughs> here. And so this morning, as I was dropping him off for work, he said, I better bring your bear spray. Sure, I said, I'll bring the bear spray. Yeah, shh, don't tell him. Guess where it is? Yeah, it's on the kitchen table. Yeah, I was going to bring it. I really was. But then I left without it by accident. Along with the compass that he bought me. Because I want to learn some better orienteering skills. It's sitting next to the bear spray. I, you know, I, I did mean well. Don't tell him. I'm sure he'll never find out. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the trail.
very windy. Not quite to the top yet. Alright, so I've come 2.3 according to the sign, and I have 0.6 left to go to the summit. Now I'm gonna go, I came up yellow. I'm gonna go down orange. Last time I was here was in the winter and I was trying to figure out why they rerouted the trail and why it was closed and now I see why. So that's the old trail. <laughs> More like stream. Although I still have to do some of that. Here we go. <laughs> so uh, here's the trail. top but it was way too windy it's still really windy so hopefully you can hear me uh, but here's my beautiful view heading down made it back into the woods and down from all the rocks. Uh, feet got a little wet here and there, but not so bad, not too bad. Uh, the wind's much, <laughs> much less uh, brisk down here, so that's nice. It was way too windy to eat lunch at the top. Um, I still haven't found a good spot, so if I don't, it's like a little less than two miles to the car, so I can eat lunch in the car if all else fails. But I will show you a little bit more of the trail here and check back in. It's been a beautiful day so far. Beautiful views. Nice and sunny. It's been really windy. So I just decided I'm going to eat when I get back to the car. I saw a porcupine. Uh, hopefully the video I took of him that you was in the clip earlier come out. If not, then you'll be wondering what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> that could be funny too. All right, so I think the hard part's over. But we'll see. I'll check back in in just a little bit. not too much of the trail left so I'm almost back to the car. I wanted to say thanks so much for joining me. I hope you're all having a great week. Thanks so much for following along and thanks for all my subscribers for hanging in while I'm figuring out what I'm doing with my through hike and what's up coming up this summer if I don't do the through hike so I really do have to make some decisions because it's weighing on me so that'll be soon. Today was beautiful. Hope you all enjoyed the views. And as always, keep hiking.